Hello everyone, how are you doing? How do you like my look? I know I already did that joke last time, but hey, come on. Isn't this the weirdest face that you make? One of the weirdest face, at least, that you make when you're doing your make. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you what the program is for today. So two things you need to know. One, I'm having one of the worst skin days ever. So, uh... I didn't really feel like uh, filming that, so that's the reason why I already have my base. And I went in with one of my most full coverage foundations in my collection, and that's the Locket from Kat Von D. I have shade Light F Neutral in number 48, and I mixed it with my Nude Air uh, from Dior, Le Serum de Teint. Uh, that I use in shade 30 and the reason I do that is because this one tends to be really flat really matte So and it actually is a bit too light for my skin at the moment So this actually kind of corrects the color as well as giving it a bit of a dew um, That this one is missing So yeah, just other than that I applied it with my fingers before actually uh, setting it with my hourglass Veil, uh, how is it called? Veiled Translucing Setting Powder, that's the exact name that you guys already know on my channel if you watch some of my previous videos. And then I baked slash uh, protected the under eye area and the areas where my foundation tend to rub, tends to rub off, I can't speak anymore, um, with some of the RCMA with a, a beauty blender which is dirty since I just use it now so uh, right now we are gonna keep on uh, making a conscious effort to use all my palettes and one of the palettes that I haven't used in a while and I thought that I would uh, use for this video is from Too Faced um, this is one of the palettes that I had the best surprise about. I mean, I love Too Faced as a brand anyhow. Um, I have a lot of uh, their products. Um, I don't get into the drama, so um, I will not be mentioning whatever I think, whether it's positive or negative, from the uh, owner, just like I did for Jeffrey, just like I did for Kat Von D, just like I did for any of the people that have at any point in time been uh, linked to any drama going on. What I care about is the products and the products that they do make and I do enjoy, then I'll use them on my channel. That's about it. So, without further ado, this is the Chocolate Gold palette. And as I said, I was extremely surprised for this palette. Like, first time I saw it, I was like, nah, really not my color. What am I gonna do with this? Oh, whatever. Uh, it's just that I actually was invited for a masterclass uh, with this palette. So I was like, I cannot not take the palette just because it will remind me of the masterclass. So I just decided that I would take it anyhow. And I'm very glad I did because it's one of the best palettes I have actually. And it's, it's really cool and it's different it obviously smells like chocolate, so when you're feeling a bit crappy like me today, which I'm a bit under the weather. Uh, oh, hello. We have the two kitty cats visiting us. Hello. Hi, Yuki. So, yeah, I'm going to start by using the So Bougie, 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 uh, color in my crease. So this is going to be very... Very normal and uh, traditional, so to speak. So we're gonna put that in the crease and buff it out as usual. I'm relying on the S142 from Haku Hodo, as you know, is one of my favorite blending brushes. As you know or not, actually. But whatever, it is. So I'm doing that on both eyes. I'm not being precious about it. I just wanna give some definition to the crease and nothing else it's just you know we're basically laying the bases here and then I'm going to be using a cocoa truffle which is this uh, gorgeous rich cocoa color tapping that out 
I'm basically concentrating on the lower part of the crease and the outer part of the crease just to um, make sure again as you saw I first kind of tapped the color and then you blend it so if you want to concentrate color in a certain part of your eye that's the easiest way to go so for now I'm happy with that it's not exactly as I want it to be yet but that's fine I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and then Actually, I didn't actually take any color. Oh, that's better. <laughs> I think I was talking to you guys and I didn't even touch the pan. Okay, so you tap it first and then you just blend it. So now that there is hardly anything left, I'm going to ensure that that color kind of blends upwards and a tiny bit to the center, not too much. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side, so kind of like round little movements to make sure that the color blends in properly. So as you can see, that brings a little bit more depth to the eye. I'm going to be using a smaller blending brush such as this JH40 from the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe collection that as you know I do recommend it's a very good eye collection it has very unusual brushes that are very handy to have I'm really happy I got these again um, I am not into the drama so I will not be mentioning whatever I think about Jaclyn or not um, you know I just enjoy her tutorials she is a very talented makeup artist and I love her Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette as well as these brushes hence I use them so I used a decadent uh, shade which is the black shade in the palette and as you know probably noticed although I was not speaking about it I just tapped it tap it tap it as always and kind of slightly brought it in but not too much because basically what I want it's for that color to deepen the outer corner so I know this is this is during the day but hey the concept is tonight so I can get away with a bit of a, you know, more daring, smoky eye. Not that I really care, you know, to be honest with you, if I fancied, I would be woman enough to just go ahead and go out with this look during the day uh, and not care too much about it. Uh, but hey, you do you. Uh, I'm still using Decadent, so that very black color on my lower lash line as a base sorry my um, tip of my nose was tickling me it always does when I do my makeup it drives me crazy because especially when I'm actually filming it's kind of weird it almost feels like you're picking your nose on camera which is definitely not the case but hey what can you do? If it tickles, it tickles. Okay, so that is nice enough. So now I'm going back into Cocoa Truffle, which is like this kind of dark chocolate color, same, same brush. And I'm going to go over that black just to kind of smoke it out. There you go, why is my hair across my forehead there? Okay, so doing the exact same thing on the other eye. Bringing it all the way in because I want to create this very smoky, hang on. I will need to just... Oh, oh. I think some of the makeup actually got on it. Yeah, see how most of the makeup just got away? Well, 
was driving me crazy. Oh, sorry for the little break there. So, yeah. Back to the eye look. Uh, this is pretty nice. I'm liking that. Um, taking again the Coco Truffle, going up into the... Our crease, kind of bring it in, and I will go back with the black to re-intensify it. But I will really keep there, in the corner. See how basically layering those two colors kind of did like a little ombre effect. This is what I was looking for. Okay, now I'm going to clean up my oops my little brush here i only have one of these i almost want to buy another set of these so i can have two brushes of this tiny little one and basically what i'm going to do i'm going to pick up some of that cocoa truffle but just a tiny amount and i'm gonna go in here just the outer part of that in order to blend it up okay and now taking a clean blending brush in this case the JS5 from the Jeffree Star X Morphe collaboration and making sure with a tiny bit of so bougie which is that clearer brownie color that we picked at the beginning just to make sure that everything is perfectly blended on top. How do you like that? I'm liking that, right? That is pretty. Um, I think I need even more intensity. I want it to be like so yummy, so yummy, so yummy. So I'm going to go back in with that brown color. Just kind of bring in a, a tiny bit more towards the center wow now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that exact same brush and I'm gonna do it inside as well so from the outer corner into like the first third of the lid like if your eyes are too small for this or something um, feel free to just leave that part out and basically bring in the shiny shade up until you know like towards the like, I'm going to put the shiny shade just in here, but if your eye is too small, then you don't put this dark color here and you just basically bring the shiny shade up until your um, tear dot. That's totally fine as well. So I kind of connected that chocolate color there on top. I'm going to be using my clean brush again, the JS5, to make sure that everything is blended. In here right and now I'm gonna go with a shiny color but which one what do you guys think we really have so many beautiful colors it's ridiculous I'm thinking these two crazy ones what do you think I'm gonna go out of my comfort zone here totally but hey why not I need a tiny, tiny flat brush, and in this case, I'm going to be using my JH42, which is this tiny one, again, from the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe collection, taking the Living Lavish, which is this dark, beautiful, purpley color down here, and I'm going to put it just on top of that brown.
Oh wow, this is so pretty. I, I think I never even used this color. Can you believe that? Which is one of the reasons why I'm doing this kind of like conscious effort to reuse all my palettes. You know, I'm not on a buying ban or anything like that. It's just that unless there's something really particular or special about that new palette, then I won't buy it unless it actually brings something different to my collection or it's really special or you know um it's like from a brand that i really want to have or something like that then i'm kind of um concentrating on to my own collection so yeah I'm happy I'm using this palette because to be honest with you, I don't even think I ever use this shade. So what I did just to explain, I actually started putting it right here, then kind of right here. So I did like a, two stripes and then I kind of blended it a tiny bit into the crease without, with avoiding this area here. And I did the exact same thing on the other side. So focus the color over here and focus the color over here before actually using whatever is left on the brush to kind of connect them at the top. Now I'm just turning over the, the brush to the other side. I'm going to pick up this fuchsia color here called New Money and I'm gonna put it in the center. So shiny and different. Compared to what I normally do, right? So, this color is a bit drier than the others for some reason. So I kind of uh, have to really go into the pan to pick up some of that pigment, but that's okay. So I'm focusing on this central area here, but if you do go a bit overboard, just go back into that purpley one and mix it up right here. Awesome. How do you guys like that? I'm really enjoying this. Hmm. That is really different. I don't normally do that kind of thing and I'm really happy I tried it out. So I'm still using New Money, which is the fuchsia color. And what I'm going to try to do, which is not that easy, I'm going to use the palette maybe and you'll excuse me if I don't look at you. So basically look straight into a mirror and then you place the pink color just under the central, just under your eye basically. So it kind of like creates like a halo effect, almost like if the top was reflecting on the lower lash line. If you see what I mean see just like right now I can't really look straight but if I were to look straight then my the color would be just under my eye and uh, yeah that's pretty I like that I will actually to have to leave that brush there so I can clean it I'm gonna be using the um, liner brush from Too Faced I never use this brush for a liner. Uh, I think I already said that in a in a in a video. Uh, classy and sassy is the color that I'm gonna use into the inner corner. 
which is this kind of like rose gold color and I'm applying it to the teardrop kind of bringing it out and underneath oh it's quite messy with this makeup so I'm I'm looking forward to um taking off all the excess powder because it really looks dirty right now underneath anyhow so i'm gonna pick up my um jesus it's dirty uh just cleaning it up quickly because i think i grabbed it with my hands full of um, foundation so i'm gonna be using the s103 from haku Hodo to basically just take off all the baking i have on my face i'm starting with the clean areas of my face I'm gonna be using the this Chikuhodo X Butylish brush to brush away the fall out first just in case which is actually lighter than this brush but that was okay So this is supposed to be like a finishing brush, like a buffing brush. So it's perfect for what I'm doing right now because I'm just basically, it's fluffy enough to brush away all the excess, but at the same time, it's kind of really blending together all the products I have on my face. So that's, that's nice. Whew, I feel better. That was, that under eye area was looking really dirty. See how pretty that is? Seriously. Hmm. I'm really enjoying that. I have little flyaway hairs. Okay, so now, as I said, um, I didn't actually say it, but anyhow, I'm going to be using this Hourglass Ambient Surreal Light uh, palette that I have in my collection again as a conscious effort for using my all my palettes so i'm going to be using the um what is this one 127 lux sheer cheek uh, brush from zoeva i'm going to be using this beautiful pinky blush color so i'm going in there quite heavily smile okay now that I have most of the color there I'm uh, tapping the brush and using it to just brush up that pink color almost to my temples this is a trick that a friend from Dior um, taught me so that it actually suits my um, my face shape to have the blush a bit higher than normal I'm using the uh, 109 Lux face paint brush from Zoeva again to apply my highlight and I'm going to be using the Fireball from Afterglow Fireball from uh, Urban Decay which is this kind of, um, mine is looking weird, you can't really see, so it's this kind of like pinky golden color. I'm just using the brush there and I'm tapping that on top of my cheekbones and blending it onto my brow bone I'm putting most of the color here and then blending it into the skin and the brow bone I 
okay? So now I'm going to be using some of a, the Super Shock Cheek Pearlized Lunch Money Highlighter from Colourpop on top of my fingers and I'm just going to put that on the actual cheekbone and in my inner corner just so that it kind of almost blends out the highlight color that I push from the palette so that's it now that that is done we are almost finished and I do have a few things to do on my eyes as always I'm gonna be using a tiny bit of a black powder highliner with my 75 brush from Kat Von D to just clean up and brush up my eyebrows again as I said careful most people can't do that without it, it having to without it looking like you used a sharpie and the reason being um, because your eyebrows are probably too light for you to do this with black but my eyebrows cannot be any more black than they actually are so um, what happens when I actually push anything but black on them is actually it looks worse because it feels like, well, it looks, clearly it looks like I put something on them, which I don't normally like. So, uh, I need to put mascara on, but I do want some black eyeliner in my inner rim, so I'm going to be using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Purse Pencil in Perversion, but it does need to be sharpened, so we're going to do that. There you go. Okay, making sure that the pencil is not too sharp. And I'm just going to line, line both my inner and upper waterline. This is one of my favorites. I have it forever, but as you can see, it's like super tiny. It's getting tinier and tinier. Just bringing out a tiny bit of it. So that it almost looks like I have a little natural flick, which I don't, but hey, makeup is here to help us fake it to make it, I guess. So, mascara. Climax from NARS, one of my faves at the moment. I really enjoy this natural bristle brush. So basically ensuring that my lashes are perfectly coated. I think I'm just going to be wearing like probably a black dress or something quite simple so I feel confident enough and and happy enough to just go a bit more colorful and um, and fun on the makeup There you go. So two coats of mascara. I also put it on the lower lash line. Well, 
I'm really enjoying that kind of uh, fuchsia pop of color on, on my eyes. Is it fun? I'm finding it really fun. There you go. So, how do you like that? I'm liking that quite a lot. So I think I'm going to go for something quite natural on the lips so that it doesn't look too much. And I'm probably going to be using Pillow Talk from um, Charlotte Tilbury, which is like this natural pinky nude. Mm. I love this formula. Strangely enough, it's really hydrating. Despite the fact that it is a matte formula. And which is probably one of the things that I like the most about that formula. Um, because we are a bit dry today, I'm going to be using This Is Everything Lip Oil from NYX. Like a tiny one that I got in um, one of my... Christmas sets last year. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. It it does bring a little bit of um something something to the middle of the face, and I enjoy that quite a lot. So now to finish it up, we're going to be using a bit of a setting spray today. I'm just going to be using my trusty um, Mac Fix Plus. Mm, dousing the face on it, because to be honest with you, I did go quite heavy in the powder. So I want to make sure that I actually, there we go, just taking my beauty blender. This is so bad. Did you realize what just happened there? My beauty blender took away some of the foundation that I had on my lower face. So I'm going to be going with a bit more of foundation and just correcting all that using the same hourglass this time using a tapping brush oh there you go using the js1 brush to tap in the hourglass powder I'm just realizing as well that I forgot to put in some bronzer. Which actually is a good thing. Since I messed up my foundation, 
um, I will basically use the bronzer to blend the foundation with gonna be using the uh, butter bronzer oh, I really enjoy the color the smell of this bronzer some people don't like it but I really do kind of that tropical So see, using the bronzer actually mixes in the newly applied foundation with the um, blush. So that's cool. Putting it whatever I have left on my brush on top and in the center of my face. Bringing it down to my neck. I'm a décolleté. And that's me done. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, look and uh, getting ready with me, uh, especially on a day where I wasn't feeling my best. So, you know, makeup tends to always bring, um, you know, my mood up and playing with makeup seems to be something that I really find um, enjoyable and uh, relaxing. So... Yeah, that's me um, done makeup wise for tonight, my little concert. And um, I hope to see you soon back on my channel. In the meantime, uh, if you want to know more about my videos when I post one, don't hesitate to subscribe and give me a little thumbs up. Thank you. Bye bye.